Um, let's have another personal perspective. Um, again, this is uh, anonymous, um, and this individual um, tells us that he's 69, uh, and the PSA level is 5.4. Um, the prostate is known to be enlarged, though we're not told how big it is. Um, the MRI scan has been done, uh, and it will tell you the prostate volume, which is, we just don't know what it is. Uh, he was offered a biopsy, and he declined it, and the PSA level is stable for at least a year now. Am I doing the right thing, he says. And again, the answer is very similar to last time. It, it depends. Um, if the prostate volume is, you know, 50 to 60 mils, his PSA is 5.4, um, and it returns normal signal, um, I would recommend to him, and indeed if it were me, I would not have a biopsy. Um, and that, I think that's a perfectly safe thing to do, and would only biopsy if the PSA goes up or an abnormality um, is, uh, develops in the prostate. Um, and so the question that this individual must ask his doctor is, is there an abnormality in the prostate? And if there is, I would suggest one of two things. It either needs a biopsy to find out what it is, not everything we see is cancer, or the lesion needs to be followed up. And we currently think, think that lesions are relatively safe if they are stable. Um, but if they start to grow, uh, that obviously shows that the cancer is progressing, uh, and that may be, maybe, we're not quite sure yet, associated with further risk such as metastatic spread. Um, and so the contents of the MRI are important. The quality of the MRI is really, really also important. We might have a question on that later. Um, and depending on what the MRI shows, will indicate whether or not further MRIs need to be done downstream.